Barry's been cooking this morning. You want to tell everybody what we've got planned for today? So, um... She doesn't know, she's got no clue. No, I have, totally have a clue. We are doing a South African trade-off with Americans. <laughs> we are making traditional babuati with rice. And we are getting... What are we getting in return for? We're getting some Goon, goon Squad Dang Sauce! So I stopped in at, uh, at their warehouse, office, workshop, whatever it was, about a week ago and I said to them, Hey guys, we just got here from Africa, can we give you some African food? So I had a chat with Simon, real cool guy. Um, what you see on TV is what you get, pretty much the same as us, you know? So if you like what you see, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and I said to them, hey, you want to have this thing called the Bertie? Uh, we chatted a bit and Lindy and I are going to head down there now. And we're going to see, we're going to ask them for their true, honest opinion. And if they don't like it, they better tell me. Okay, but disclaimer, okay? This Baburti is not 100% the same as South African. Okay, so the only massive difference is that we don't have the traditional Baburti cooking spice. And curry powders. The so the problem that we're finding here in America is that we cannot find the same spices and everything in South Africa. You know, that's just, that's the way it goes. It's normal. Um, and in South Africa, you could literally go into one of the supermarkets like Walmart, whatever, and you can find a whole shelf full of different curries. Do you want hot, sweet, um, you know, mother-in-law's tongue, you name it, they've got it. Whereas here, we actually haven't been able to find um, a lot. In actual fact, we've only found two at Walmart. One's organic and one's a Walmart brand. So that's all we've been able to find. And it's... Yeah, they are. The one's just four dollars, and the other one's two dollars. I mean, I've done a bit of fishing. Apparently, there's a couple of Indian shops around here. We're going to try that out. But in the meantime, we're going to head down to Goon Squad and uh, let them. Dang, son. <laughs> Say that again. I said, dang, son. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go down, have lunch with them. And if you don't know where that comes from, it's Goon Squad. <laughs> yeah, I'll link them down in the in the in the in the description below. Um, yeah, let's go see what they think. Go ahead. No, Pops is going to be in the... Oh. In, I mean, Pops, we wanted to come here when you were here as well. If it was just Simon and Alizar here, yeah, we would have left the food and, and, and gone home. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I called Pops and I was like, yeah, you better get over Are here. Are you ready to try? Um, no, I have no? not. No, sir. Oh, no, okay. Sir. I waited for you. Oh, okay, sir. so what we've got is this is just... I mean, this is just rice. That's Ooh. that's oh, that's, that's good. Great. Okay, good. but this here, that's that's the magic. Mm -hmm. Really? Okay, so that's called babuti. Uh -huh. Can you say that, Bob? Babuti. Babuti. There you go. Yeah. I think you say better than what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Simon took a couple of tries to say that last week. Yes. Um, yeah. Really yeah. Cool. So really, how you eat it is we put a bit of rice on the on the plate. Yeah. That on top. Um, oh. Throw some dang sauce on top of it because everything right. tastes better with dang, mm -hmm. dang sauce. And we want to know what you think. You have some uh, restaurant over here, but it look like, but a little different, uh, say, a little different, you know, name. Style. Uh, style, yeah. yeah I'm we, sure there must be something. I like it. Uh, look like um, uh, fry, uh, fry rice. Look like. No, is it fried rice or is it no. just boiled rice? It look like, boiled but yeah. this one is it's a rare, what is that? Rice and with. Uh, Turmeric. Turmeric. Just some seasoning. Yeah, turmeric, uh, like uh, yeah. turmeric. Yeah, yeah. That's yes. It. Yeah, turmeric. Yeah, it's like exactly he makes that. he makes some some of his rice. If you guys haven't seen the videos, he like I have. I or have. he makes it. So he that's what it kind of looks like right there. Yeah. All right. Well. Okay. See you guys Good. Good. And then give me your honest opinion. It's terrible. Tell me. <laughs> you, you, it's already spicy. It's so it much. It's nice. Simon. Yeah, old school stuff. You take a video. Yeah. They're nice if you're going to have them on your truck and you want to load yeah. up anything. Mm. For what you guys are doing in this thing, yeah. you're having way too much fun. You're, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nice. Fun. That's We're good. Definitely upgrade the suspension probably today. I like it. So I like li little, little sweet. Like I love the sound. A nice sweet and spicy dish. Mm -hmm. well, is that some kind of meat? <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's what we call mince, but it's basically ground beef. Um, it's got some raisins in it, almonds, um, and then what we call chutney, which is a, basically stewed fruit that we make a sauce, it's almost like, uh, I mean, I don't want to say it's like dang sauce, but you use it like dang sauce. At least oh, really? South Africans do. There's nothing like dang sauce now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I say, I don't, I'm not, not going to compare the two. Um, Something similar, right? Er and if it's line. terrible, please don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Lindy only spent the whole day making it, right? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Some honest opinions. Mmm. 
You know what it reminds me of? Chili. Well, you guys know what chili is? Yes. We've Almost. had some chili. Yeah. A bit of chili. So back home we have like big bold curry flavors that mm -hmm. we can buy and we're struggling to find curry here. Really? Mm. Yeah. It's pretty good. It's delicious. It's different. Mm -hmm. But it's good. Mm. Yeah, I like the sweet, the sweet meat, flavor. And you would meat and fruit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> first, time, first time I ever tried that. I'm really? Yeah. It messes with the brain a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's different, but it's good. It sure. is really good. So, what they do say, and I don't know who they is, but they say, never meet your heroes. And I may sound like a bit of a fanboy now, but I must say, the Goon Squad guys, Simon, Alazar, Pops, um, super down to earth, it was great. Uh, we had a good time with them. We are going to get together with them again. Uh, Pops apparently is quite a mean chef. So, we are going to try some of his... I can't remember what he said. It's like a rice dish or whatever. Pops um, apparently makes the best rice. Yeah, so I think that the bubuti went down pretty good. I think that... Uh, With the dang sauce. That dang sauce is good. <laughs> uh, we were fortunate enough to get a couple of bottles. Wait, what did you think of my bubuti? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was very nice. It does not taste the same as what it does back in South Africa just because we can't find the spices and and the curries especially but it was it was good and that dang sauce just put the cherry on the top and I'm not just saying that the dang sauce has got a bit of a kick and a bite to it. It was good. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. We're in a tunnel. This is this like what is it? 10 miles an hour. Listen to the roar. <laughs> we got a straight park this beast. I, okay, I'll tell you what. 30 likes on this video and I'll straight park the GX. <laughs> I mean, that, that would have sounded so much better if you could actually hear the V8 and not just like... Pumpkin patch. I don't know. But. But what? Fall really has fallen. So fall for, for us, being from South Africa, is, a, is an absolute unknown and a new. If we didn't call it fall in, uh, in South Africa, we would have called it autumn. But if you have a look at the trees and stuff like that, you start to see all of them starting to change color. And the leaves are literally falling off Ever. the trees. And that's why it's called fall. But it's beautiful. But on a side note, this isn't as pretty as what it gets, but there's some pretty areas. I think we need to go and take like a hike and show them. So in an upcoming video, you guys will see Stingers Ridge, which is where I went and, and did a hike the other day. Mm -hmm. um, and it really is absolutely beautiful, but it's gone from being in the 80s and 90s, which is upper 30s type of thing, down to last night it got down to 2 degrees Celsius. So for the first time in my life, I've experienced frost on my car and I was like, hmm, super nervous to drive to work and I was like, oh, how am I going to get this ice off my windscreen? So that was fun. I had to spray it with some, what is that stuff that you put in? It's basically window washer fluid. Like I always thought these Americans, like how odd that, why don't you just put water into your window washer fluid? But it's purely because it gets cold here, but there's no wind, at least in Chattanooga, there's no wind like there is in Cape Town and the wind sort of keeps everything from freezing um, with the fresh ocean breeze. But yeah, it doesn't happen. It just gets really cold and it just almost sits So stagnant. what is that stuff? It's Rainex window, window, window washer fluid. Okay, so I use that stuff to get the frost off my windscreen. But apparently I was told, that's nothing. Wait until you need a scraper. So big, guess what? Look, look, look at the tree. Look at the color. That was too quick. You can't do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw the camera out the window. But anyway, so we'll have to go and invest in a scraper. I don't know that it gets that cold here in Chattanooga for um, it. It does, apparently. And whatever you do, you do not throw hot water over it. Why? Because it cracks. Your windscreen will literally <laughs> go... 
be, putting you on the spot. What Uh-oh. has been the single most hardest thing that you've done since moving to the US? First of all, where did this question come from? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, can, I can tell you what I think it, what? it might have been. Tell me what you think it is and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Putting yourself outside of your comfort zone and meeting new people that you and going up to stra- complete strangers that you probably never would have done if we had still stayed in South Africa. Richard wants me to be in the camera, but I like being behind the camera, so answer my question. I think the hardest thing for me being in America is knowing that I'm not allowed to work and I'm one of those people that I can't sit still, I can't not do anything and watching watching my wife go off to work knowing that she's earning the money when I feel like I should be the breadwinner and going out and making the money so that her money just becomes pocket money and not our lifeblood. That has probably been the biggest like mind blocking hurdle thing that I've had to, to overcome. Meeting new people, um, it's been hard, it's been tough, especially with the different cultures and everything that we that we find here. Um, but I'm an extra introvert, so I have a certain amount of inner being that can go out and interact with the world, and then I want to be at home and just recharge my batteries. So that's been tough, but not nearly as tough as seeing you go off to work and then knowing that I can't work and bring an income in. Our moment. <laughs> I was not designed for the stay-at-home husband type. Um, yeah, I know. You can definitely see you when Mr. Bauer um, gets to the point where he's like, okay, I've had enough of indoors. I'm ready for, for the outdoors and for the great big world. And I think that's why it's been much easier for you to interact with other, other people and get to know the other Americans. Well, yeah, like, like, like I say, I, I like engaging with people. I also like my alone time. But the fact that I'm cooped up at home for three, four days at a time and I don't really see anybody, sometimes it just makes me go mad. It seems like we found the right shop here for all the Indian spices. This is, this reminds me of home. The fresh smile of home, hey bear. This is awesome. I don't know what half these words are because they're all in Indian languages, but this is cool. Okay, curry spice, and then get out of here. As we were leaving, we have one for all our Afrikaans viewers back home. As jy dier die dier loop, moet jy jou skoene by die dier los. En as Afrikaans nie maar daarom dier mekaar nie. What do you think of that, Ben? Ek stier mekaar, want die dier is dier en ek weet nie wat om dier te gaan nie. <laughs> I'm sure all the um, the fans back home um, will understand exactly what we had to say there. So it's very much an American thing here that when you walk into someone's home, you take your shoes off because you're going to walk germs into their homes. Hey guys, so we're back from my evening out and the weather's taken a bit of a change. And before we end off the video, I just want to say thank you for everybody for watching. We have hit a thousand subscribers uh, as of a day or two ago, so I'm going to make a special video about that. Uh, but there's also another project coming up, which is tackling my garage, which is this little cupboard here. And you can see that it's become a bit of a storage for everything. Um, so drop a comment down below if you've got any suggestions on what I should do in this tiny space. I'm not used to having such a small space to store all my stuff. But that is it for this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody that has supported this channel up until now. Uh, the views, the comments, the likes, the shares, the messages, uh, the phone calls, whatever it's been. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you stick around. We've got lots in the pipe work for what's to come down uh, the line. So until the next one, bye. I sit with you at church. Oh, no. Really? Do you? Did you sit with me once? <laughs>